Hey you guys, we are back and we are doing our class material from November 2013 and we featured the cool moves of Mr. Eric Gray. Stumbled onto Eric on YouTube and uh, contacted him and said, hey man, really great stuff and uh, asked him if he would mind if we featured his moves on our YouTube channel and in class here at D'Amico Dance. And he said, man, I'm totally flattered. I'd love for you to do that. He passed by our Facebook page, said hello to everybody, and now you're getting those moves right now. Okay. Okay, so here's what we did. I'll go through it in its entirety first. So we did a one, two, three, and four, five, and six, seven, eight, one, and two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight, and one, two, and three, and four, five, six, seven, and eight, one, and two, three, four. Five and six, seven, eight, one and two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one and two, three and four. And we can do that a bunch of different ways depending on how the music makes you feel. If you want to hold in some spots and drag it out because the music makes you feel like doing that. So let's break it down. Really cool stuff, huh? And thanks again, Eric. So we started off with a right hand sugar push. One, two, we let this develop and travel with her for five and six. Now once we got to that six, we're going to let the lady kind of sink into that six a little bit. She sinks back into her left foot and we went seven, eight, and one. And we bounced her off of that immediately, kind of like a rock and go on that side. So that's one and two. And we caught the lady on that two. So I'm going to do that one more time. We go one, two, three, and four, five, and six, seven, eight, one, and two. From there, we're going to go ahead and duck the lady under by rolling this up and we stepped forward on 3-4. So it took a little bit of time there as she ducked underneath. You'll notice that Allison drew her left foot underneath her and then back as her proximity alert went off. She recognized I was going to take her back down the slot because I've established connection here. She puts her weight on her left foot. From here we're going to go 5-6 for a free spin lead but I like to call it a faux wrap. So what I'll do is I'll keep the hand until it gets to the body. So this was 5-6 we go 7 and 8. Really important here to help the guys in class is that I took both hands to the lady's side. As she wrapped up, the right hand naturally went to her ribs. I went ahead and took my left hand to her side as well. This was seven and eight. From here, I twist her to face you as I do an and one hook behind. And one. From there, I'm gonna roll her around in my hands. This is two, uh, three, and four, five, and six, putting the lady in closed. So now that I've got the lady enclosed, from here I'm gonna give her a tuck. So from here we went a seven, eight, one, and two, and I turned to the right for three and four, and picked her up with a cross hand hold. And from here I'm gonna give her a barrel roll with this right hand, it's nothing more than a spinning left side pass from here. And this goes five, six, seven, and eight. But then rather than letting her anchor, she steps back a single count and I catch her for one have her replace on two, and I move past her for three and four. From here, I'm gonna bring her into a hip catch for five, six, and curling her seven, a one, replace two, and a triple, three and four, and out five and six to the other end. And I am gonna do that from the other side, and I'll work on some of the other key points so that you can see it from the back side. So seeing the reverse angle, this goes one, two, three, and four, Five and six, seven, eight, one and two, three, four, five, six, seven and eight, and one, two, three and four, five and six, seven, eight, one and two, three and four, five, six, seven and eight, one, two, three and four, 
five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, and four, five, and six, whether we go to closed or to open position. Now, a little tip here for you at the end. As I bring the lady into the waist catch, this goes five, six, seven, five, six, seven. When I catch her on this side, if I just leave this really flat and take my right hand to the side of her body, when I go to push her this way, she doesn't necessarily know that I want her to turn and face me. So she just kind of moves over to the side. And I've had that happen to me a couple of times. I'm like, I'm not giving her a clear enough picture as to what it is I want her to do. So as she gets to me on this side for the five, six, seven, I'm going to catch her from slightly behind, not the side, but slightly the back. And from there, I'm going to curl her around with my hand, never using your fingertips, gentlemen, ever, but using the underneath side, the pads of your fingers and your knuckles, but never using the tips of your fingers. So I'm going to go five, six, and I'm going to curl that from the back side, letting her know that I'm going to turn her around to face me. From here, then sending her back to this side, this ended up being one, two, and from here, I wanted to change it from this single timing to a triple rhythm. So I'm going to turn around in my hands, kind of like a basketball, and go three and four and send her right back out for five and six. So that's what we did in November's class material. And again, thank you, Eric Gray, for such cool stuff that we got to borrow. And thank you again, Allison. Um, thank you for joining us. And like us on Facebook, D'Amico Dance, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And please leave some comments and ask us for anything you'd like help with. Well, you know you can do this if you want to do it. Now we're starting to get that look. <laughs>